Good morning. Today is Zeke's very first time to fly in an airport. Well, flying in an airplane, but we're at an airport. Yeah. We're gonna go to Texas to see Grandma and Grandpa and get a car off of them. We're buying a car from them for a family. And we're gonna introduce him to long security lines. Zeke just found the card that mommy drew and snuck into his backpack when he was sleeping. He's reading it right now. His face lit up. He got really excited when he saw it. <laughs> Zeke, are you excited right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they're kicking his legs. He's really excited. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's really foggy outside, so Zeke's not going to be able to get like a real first experience taking off and watching the ground underneath. to Dana's parents house and check it out here's the car that's the one that we're buying that we flew all the way down here to Texas to pick up and get another little well we, you know we had the big van and that's great but this would be a second car for getting around town and doing like little like errands and stuff rather, rather than having to take the big car everywhere we can just take this one um, especially when Dana's got a meeting I have a meeting or Dana wants to go shopping or to grocery shopping or something so Zeke and I are gonna hop in here. We are gonna drive this sucker all the way home. It took us like two and a half hours to fly here. <coughs> Whoops. There we go. <laughs> two and a half hours to fly here. And uh, it's gonna take us two days to drive home. So we're not gonna make you guys sit through all that, but this is, this is it. There's Zeke's booster seat. We got him. Nice little, small little hatchback. And uh, it's a manual six speed. Dan and I both prefer manual trans transmissions because they're um, they're usually cheaper cars, they're better on gas, they're less likely to be stolen, they're uh, cheaper to fix with the transmission if something breaks or goes wrong, and uh, they're better in snow and all sorts of stuff. So we, and plus I feel like I have more control over the car, so I just like manual transmission. So this is it that we flow down here for, and Zeke and I got a long trek home. But before we start driving home tomorrow morning, we're gonna spend the rest of the day here with the grandparents hanging out with my in-laws, with Dana's parents and spend some time visiting with them, so should be fun. We're gonna eat at Chick-fil-A, and Zeke came over here early and set the table. He got the napkins out, he got his pizza straw. That was really nice of you, Zeke. Is that, because that's what you do at home? You set the table and help us get ready for dinner? And you just did that without even being asked. What's your favorite thing about visiting Grandma and Grandpa? Everything. <laughs> no, no, it's gives you do you like the Chick-fil-A? Do you like playing at their house? Do you like the airplane rides? Playing at their house. Playing at their house. It's fun hanging out with Grandma and Grandpa, huh? Yeah. What did you think about the plane ride? Is it fun? What did you see from the airplane? A mountain. Mountains and clouds and everything? It was unfortunately kind of foggy, so I was kind of hoping you get the full experience of watching the ground disappear, but as soon as we took off, it was pretty much but just could, white. But I could see some stuff. Some stuff, occasionally, yeah, there's a break in the clouds. One of the things Dana really wants is a nice, good watermelon. Back home in Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area, the watermelons aren't really ripe, but down here in Texas, she's kind of hoping they are. So we're gonna go to this grocery store See if we can pick out a really good watermelon, hopefully. They're right on sale, right outside. How convenient. Is that how you pick a good watermelon? You yeah. tap it? You gotta pat them. Pat it, and then what is it? So you, set, you listen for something? Well, you don't want it to, um, you don't want it to vibrate too much uh -huh. because that will overripe. Okay. But you don't want it not to vibrate at all. It's kind of like you're saying like, good boy. 
Good boy, good boy. That's exactly what Dana wants, Texas watermelons. We're getting two watermelons. One is Dana's mom picked, the top one Dana's dad picked. What was your method for picking a good watermelon? Does it pass? No? I will say. I think mine's better. You think so? <laughs> we'll find out. We're gonna let Dana be the judge. We're gonna drive it. Two days, you and I are gonna take the drive all the way back home, and then we'll let Dana be the judge. <laughs> She's getting ready for bed. You can brush your teeth. Get your jammies on. She's been so good. <laughs> Do you, you know that you're just like, you has been like so obedient, so calm, so gentle. So respectful, polite, responsible. You know that? I'm really proud of you. you you're just a good little guy. You know that? You haven't been fussy even once today, have you? No. But we're gonna go to bed and I'm gonna wake up early, get in our new car. You like our new car? And we're gonna drive all the way from Houston here back to Cincinnati. It's gonna take us a few days and Zeke and I are gonna have fun along the way. Good night, YouTube. Good morning, guys. We're getting ready to leave, right, Zeke? What do we got? We got our lunch right here. And watermelon. And Grandpa's cutting up some yummy Texas watermelon. We've got bananas. Look at these bags of fruit. Strawberries, apples, blueberries, carrots, and sandwiches. Nice bananas. crunchy stuff. And bananas, yeah. They keep us awake rather than munching on chips the whole way and getting, like, all fat and lethargic sitting in the seat. We get carrots to crunch on and apples to crunch on. That'll be a lot healthier, right? You have fun at Grandma and Grandpa's? Mm -hmm. You sad to go? They're moving also. They're moving uh, to Oklahoma. And so next That's time we see you. them... That's where your daddy lives. My daddy doesn't live in Oklahoma. He lives in Pennsylvania. Oh. It's your mom's daddy. Yeah. So we're, we're next time we see them, they'll be in a new house. This is our last time in this house, Zeke. Can you say goodbye to the house too? Mm. <laughs> Bye house. You ready to go? Here we go. Bye. <laughs> I'm not gonna vlog and drive, so say goodbye and then we're gonna go. <laughs> Bye. It's been about eight hours later, I think, now since we last saw you guys. And we're gonna go get some dinner because we're hungry and our butts are sore and very numb. Got Zika kids meal. What it came with it? What is it? You scissors. Got scissors? I can tear it up. It looks like some crayons, some color creators. It looks like a coloring book with some stickers or something in it. Maybe you can do that in the car. We don't usually eat at places like this, but um, Zeke wanted a burger, and so I was like, all right, I'll get him a burger. This is not going to be good for my weight loss stuff, for those of you who are following me on Snapchat, um, you maybe saw that. Uh, Dan and I both, we've lost 20 Dad, pounds in the past since glasses. February. Oh, this is what I call? Oh, you can create a watch, a wallet, like some glasses, artboard, that's cool. You have to play with that in the car, okay? Cheese in this. Oh, we'll take it off. So you can't have cheese. It's dairy intolerant. So, but yeah, Dan and I have lost 20 pounds since February, and it's not from eating stuff like this. This is probably gonna put me up a few pounds this week. Hopefully, not too bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, having a burger was good. I haven't had one like that for a while, but it really didn't fill me up. So we're out here having some watermelon that Grandma sends us. Is that yummy? Uh -huh. It feels better, it feels better to eat something that you know is good for you as opposed to something that you know is just like rotten and fatty and mostly carbs and sugar and you're just gonna poop it out in like an hour or two. Here we go, we've got another hour to go and we'll finally be at our hotel, be able to relax and chill. Let's go. <laughs> Did I scare you? Did I scare you? What are you doing? Looking outside? Uh huh. That's out here. Just a bunch of cars. Uh huh. In our hotel. We made it safely. Yay! And, and people get out of the car. Watching people. Let's um, 
Let's uh, get ready here, Zeke, to go to bed. Zeke's going to take a shower, get cleaned up a little bit for that. I take a shower, I want to take a bath. Uh, um, no, I don't know if I want him to sit in a bathtub at a hotel. It could be kind of dirty, Zeke, but we'll just stand and do a shower, okay? Or you you can stand and do a shower. We're going to get him clean, and then we're going to go to bed. And then we'll see you guys in the morning. Wow, oh, that's loud. We'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast, okay? Actually, before we go to bed, I gotta show you what this little guy likes doing now. <laughs> what is this? My old iPod. Uh, and I just brought it along for him. And apparently, he loves listening to music. He discovered Toby Mac on it. And he just loves listening to to True Dog over and over and over again on my first generation iPod Touch. <laughs> so. He's starting to look like a little teenager. <laughs> what are you doing, little man? He gets it out by himself and just like sits there. And I walked in, um, and he's just sitting there, just smiling. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. Thanks for coming with me. I don't think me, but uh, now I will see you guys at breakfast. <laughs> Getting ready to hit the road again for another seven and a half hours. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna make it look all pretty. Do you have fun, Zeke? Do you like do you like going to the hotel? What are you doing? <laughs> He's wearing his jammy still for the for the ride home. <laughs> what did you like best about staying at the hotel? Um. Sleeping? Listening to music on the iPod? <laughs> he loves the iPod. He's been listening to music in bed. Toby Mac! Toby Mac, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and at Grandma and Grandpa's house. I found Toby Mac at Grandma and Grandpa's house. You did. You found that on the iPod and you've been listening to it ever since. Cool. All right, best buckle up and let's get going. We're going to drive home and hopefully see Mommy and all the kids soon. Zeke and I made it home. We are way home. And here's Mommy. Ooh, you're hot. Yeah, I've been sitting in there. Talked on the phone almost the whole way back from. Uh, um, on this okay, drive, so different I people. Oh. You like the car, Tobes? Do you like it? It's our new car. You like it? Say hi to the new car. Say hi. Look what we got you. Ooh, we got Texas you two Texas water mountains. Your mom picked out that one, and there's another one your dad picked out. We have to see which one's so you the best one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I asked them Why which. Why didn't you pick out one too? The, uh, oh, I let them pick it out. Let's see which one's the best. So. You, we gotta eat them and let them know which is the better one. Can you one. tell the difference between the two of them to know? Yeah, because that one's small, the other one's big. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's funny. That's the second one. This is the one your dad picked out. All right. So, I think we can tell the difference. Yep. Who's... Figure out which one is uh, the better one, and then you gotta let them know who wins. Uh, so. They sound pretty good. <laughs> is that how you test? Depends on if you ask your mom or your dad. Your mom's all about patting them. <laughs> What did my dad do to pick it out? He just picked one. I oh, think. He didn't pat it? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know what his, uh, his process was. I'm sure he would have patted it. Monster melon. Mm. Good morning, guys. Janet is going to quickly do the taste test of the two watermelons for breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and guess that my dad's going to taste better just by the looking at it. Because it's bigger? Wait, well, no. Because which one is which? This is, this is the little one. This is the bigger one. This is your dad's. This one is your mom's. Yeah. Okay. But this is a seedless watermelon, and I'm kind of like, okay, I don't know about seedless watermelon. It's your dad's watermelon. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Take some of your mom's watermelon. Who's better? I'm gonna say this one's sweeter. Your dad's? Mm-hmm. Mm. They're both good, but that one's sweeter. Yeah, well. There's the verdict. I guess Grandpa does a better job of picking up watermelons than Grandma. Sorry. Which one's <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. That's the little one. And then this is the big one. Which one do you like better? Grandpa's. Which one do you like better? Grandpa's. Which one is Grandpa's? This one. <laughs> I guess Grandpa wins. Oh, good. Grandma got a vote. <laughs> 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 <laughs>